Hello, welcome to Online College Algebra. I'm your instructor, Professor Darren Lacoste. I already talked about my hobbies and my education in the homepage in Canvas, so in this video I'd like to talk about my teaching philosophy and share some of the problems we'll be learning to solve this semester. First, let's look at two problems. The horsepower HP that a shaft can safely transmit varies jointly with its speed in revolutions per minute and the cube of its diameter. If a shaft of a certain material two inches in diameter can transmit 36 horsepower at 75 revolutions per minute, what diameter must the shaft have in order to transmit 130 horsepower at 80 revolutions per minute? This is a classic mechanical engineering problem that we'll learn to solve when we study variation. Here's another one. If $1,200 is invested at 2.3% compounded continuously, how long will it take to double to $2,400? How long will it take to triple to $3,600? This is, this is an example of exponential growth, something else that we will uh, be learning about very near the end of this semester. Okay, so now I'd like to talk just a little bit about my educational philosophy. Uh, there are a few elements that I'd like to mention. Uh, certainly, I won't be talking about all of them, but the ones that are the most relevant to our time together. Uh, the first is that uh, one of my philosophies is that I want to provide scaffolded learning to my students. What that means is, in order to learn a new math topic, you have to have a solid foundation of the previous math topics that support it. So all throughout this semester, I'm going to be presenting concepts to you that rely on your knowledge from the previous math class. And so to support your understanding of the current material, I may occasionally present some content to you that's from the previous math class as a way of scaffolding your learning. When I do that, uh, it is my intention to label those topics or label those videos as optional. Uh, you can watch them if you choose to do so, uh, but they are not required. Uh, I will recommend that you do watch them just to kind of get a sense of uh, what I'm talking about when I say scaffolded learning, you'll see how the topics are related to each other. But if you feel that you have a strong uh, fundamental understanding of intermediate algebra, the course that immediately precedes this one, feel free to skip those videos. Uh, if you know that you struggled through intermediate algebra, or maybe you just barely passed intermediate algebra, then I'm going to strongly recommend you watch all of those videos, even if they say that they're optional. Uh, the next part of my philosophy is that we are partners in learning. I firmly believe that for learning to occur, both the student and the professor need to take an active role in the learning of the student. Uh, we need to meet in the middle, uh, if you'll allow me to use that expression. Um, the overall sense here that I want to convey to you is um, your learning will happen with your effort. Uh, I will do everything in my power to ensure that you are able to uh, understand the concepts and learn the skills uh, from college algebra, but you have to do your part. Uh, and your part is what you already know, right? Uh, you should be watching all the videos. You should be doing all of the homework. Uh, you should not wait until the last moment to do your homework. You should study for your tests. All of those great academic behaviors that you know are good for you are your part of the learning. So you do your part and I'll do mine. All right, the last thing I'm gonna talk about is I like to have a tight assessment loop in all of my courses. Here's what that means. That means that the problems that you see in your homework will be the same kinds of problems that you will see in the practice tests, which will be the same kinds of problems that you'll see in your tests. So by watching all of the videos where I'm, I'm telling you how to solve all of the homework problems, and then taking the time to solve the problems and study for your tests, you should find you are very, very well prepared for the tests in this class because they are essentially all the same skills. All right, so that's the end of this introduction. I'm looking forward to working with you. Thank you for enrolling in this class. I hope you have a wonderful experience. Can't wait for us to learn together.